Hey, Josh. Okay. <clears throat> I've got this in another 60, I'm oh, sorry, another 7017, 6020. These are so, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. The one I got in last week was like, I've never seen one this nice. And here this one is. Look at the beautiful movement. Look at the brightness of it. Oh, that's so nice. Anyway, let's talk the numbers. Definitely unserviced. Definitely out of adjustment. Uh, but it's not running badly. It needs to be serviced. It's This is low. These 7000 series chronographs will run really, really, really well. They run with high amplitude. I could probably get this to cruise 100 points higher than this. And that's based on them. Based on the numbers now and based on the physical condition, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility at all. Just great movements, great movements. These 7000 series chronographs, they're just great. They give higher amplitude and they're sturdily built. All the wheels are smaller, so there's less torque and there's less power needed for the mainspring, which means the lower arbor port doesn't wear nearly as much, if at all. And they're just, they're great, great, great movements. They're great movements. Parts availability is, is better in a lot of cases because I can get a lot of the parts are common and I can still get them. Let's talk cosmetics. What a great watch. And you said, and this is a new thing, so this is a GDM model. This one is Japanese home market, but you said your grandfather bought this on on a cruise ship. And I'm like, well, that's interesting. Maybe that's where some of these GDM watches came from, from cruise ships. But was it, was it a cruise to Japan? I wonder where the cruise was. Look at how beautiful and unfaded it is. <clears throat> Look at the bright orange. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? That's a little indicator ring in there. It's in really nice condition. Case is in exactly the kind of condition that I like. It has a little bit of wear, but it's clean. And when I clean this up and I take this sort of surface haze away, this will really shine. It'll really shine. And under new crystal, this will look like a dream. The loom is slightly gray, but who cares? It's a nice watch. That's a nice watch. Oof. The only thing I noticed by is that the date, I'm sorry, the date quick set, the push to quick set is not functioning. It's skipping, but that's it's not that's not a big deal. That'll probably it's probably there's probably literally just a screw loose and that that thing is not working. I don't I can't imagine it's going to be any kind of a big deal. Really cool, really cool. It's so great that you've got this watch and that you're going to be investing in it. This is these are rare and this one's awesome. That's a really nice watch. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think we're, I think we've got clear sailing ahead of us. I don't think anything bad's going to happen. Nice watch. Uh, well, that's interesting. Well, I'll have to see. These hands, obviously it's not resetting to zero. These hands are preset to top dead center. So this something happened this lower aperture might have split but it's 180 degrees from where it's supposed to be i'll have to look at it and see what that is so i might have to hunt that down i think i can hunt down one of these hands if i need to but we'll see um we'll see okay well that's a twist okay fine we have one twist but we'll see what happens okay thank you